What's happening, YouTube? All right, here we go again. And we're continuing on. Tail shaft housing. Now, I took off the uh, skid plate and then I uh, took off the, uh, there it is, the uh, uh, transmission mount, all right? So it's just a rubber mount. Uh, that's the exhaust mount. Luckily for me, mine already broke off, so I didn't really have to worry about the exhaust. In your case, you will need to uh, take out the stud from the, um, from the rubber mount there. So here we are. Um, I did lie, there's an extra bolt. It was hiding right down there in the middle. Uh, these are 14 millimeter, 14. Do not use anything else. Even if it looks like it may fit an SAE, do not do it. Use a 14. I broke one at the junkyard and had to chop off a chunk of the transmission and get that adapter out. So um, just an FYI, 14 millimeter. Um, I use a shallow socket, deep socket. All it's gonna do is screw up the bolt. So bolt 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 and then there's two more on the other side of course um up top there i don't believe there's any additional ones uh peekaboo will sneak up there real quick and take a look i don't see anything additional so i'm going to venture to assume we're, we're correct here so yeah there's another bolt right there at the top um so once you get this out again this is what it'll look like see i've got a just a four by four supporting the transmission. Otherwise, um, the transmission is gonna sag. You could damage your motor mounts. Do not just let the transmission sag. Um, I actually ripped the motor mount out at the junkyard. Um, and then, um, as I was telling you, I did, unfortunately, um, where's my studs here? Where's that son of a gun? There it is. Wait, where the hell? Yeah, right here. Yeah, okay, right there. Uh, well, there's a stud. And, uh, yep, that, that right there would be where the bolt was, and I snapped it. So I only snapped this side. Uh, the other side, I was a little more careful. Um, used some heat, so I've got three. I'm pretty pretty comfortable with three. I've done three um, a few times before. So, um, again, uh, stay tuned for some more. Um, here's where we're at right now. Um, so I'm going to get these bolts out, and then uh, use just a rubber mallet to give this bad boy a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. And then um, it should come off, and then the adapter will go right back on in its place using the same bolts. Um, I will probably see if there's a difference. I'll let you all know in the next video if there's a difference between that transmission mount, because there's also a plate that looks like this that came off. This plate came off separately right down here from the um, tail shaft housing um, with two bolts, and then the same size two bolts took that off. Um, you see one of the bolts right there. Um, from this plate, um, which is also bolted up here. Um, so, no, no, bolts up to the plate. There we go, right there. Um, so, that's basically where we're at. Stay tuned, more videos. I'm gonna take the tail shaft housing off, throw on the adapter, and uh, then we're ready for a transfer case. Thanks for watching, YouTube.